Hey Exotic Gaming back with a video covering mods for Alpha 21. All these mods currently should be working within the game world as I have recently tested them out myself. I'll be putting timestamps throughout the video so feel free to jump around to what looks cool to you, but I'll be going over some UI, quality of life, and just handy mods in general for the game. First up is a mod called HUD Plus created by Aurora Giggle Fairy. It pretty much redoes all of the UI as you can see. Water, food, levels, temperature, etc. are all at the bottom of the screen now in a pretty RPG like feel. Your level being in the middle is nice and compact with all the other information. One of my particular favorite changes is the color to text on doors and other interactive blocks. The word locked is now in all red which makes it so much easier to see and just go through the game with. Oh, and the mod comes with five crafting slots. Next up is a personal favorite of mine, Craft From Containers, created by Aiden Thorne. It lets the workstation that you're using consume from the chest around it for the crafted item. The distance the chest can be from the station itself is also pretty far. My chest at the way back of the longhouse here has the forged steel in it for the crafted block, and yet it's still letting me use it. It's a pretty handy mod, especially for the later horde nights when you need to craft tons of shit. I recommend it for players that need tons of ammunition and other things crafting from their boxes. Now we got IDC's Auto Turret Reloader. This mod, as the name implies, auto reloads your turrets as long as the reloading block is within 5 blocks of it. To craft these boxes, all you need to do is type in ammo box and it takes steel, iron, mechanical parts, and electrical parts to make. So it's a little hard to make, but at the same point, it is like an end game type of thing. You can have different types of ammo in the box, whether it's ammo piercing or regular, as long as you have the ammo type you want selected when you place the turret down. As the gun continues to fire and eventually runs out of ammo, it will reload itself from the container that's within its radius. I know someone from my Alpha 22 features video is asking for a concept like this to be implemented in the next update but at least we got something like this now for modders and water jars are back in a mod titled empty jars by bull rider he brings them back into the game and now we can get a jar back after using our water jar we can also craft the jars again as well this is a really requested feature that was taken out of the game for no apparent reason <laughs> Along with this, I would like to mention another mod called Cloud's Craftable Water Filter by No Cloud For You. It makes the water filter craftable in the game with enough skill in food. All it takes is some polymers, coal, sand, cloth, and glue. These two mods are pretty handy for those players who don't want to struggle for water. Now it's time for a handy mod for those that want to edit their world settings a bit more. Extra Game Options by Wookie Nookie lets you edit just about anything you want regarding zombies. It also comes with some minor trader settings as well. Of course, editing any of these settings could affect your game and your performance could suffer as well. So I'd recommend you know exactly what you're doing before you start upping the zombie count like crazy. I particularly like the City Zombie Count modifier and the Wandering Horde Frequency modifier. Crank those babies up and act like it's Alpha 10 all over again. <laughs> Man, those were the good days. Zombie headshots would also be an interesting playthrough style as well. You could turn the HP down and mess around with one shot headshots. That could be fun. You can make it like a Walking Dead type playthrough, but really the settings just give you a lot to mess around with in terms of how you want to have your playthrough go. Onto another convenience mod titled Quick Stack by Wes Wood. This mod lets you instantly put away all the crap you've gathered while out exploring into multiple chests. The range is currently 7 blocks in each direction, which I believe is 15 by 15 by 15, but I have no idea, honestly. It feels like it's far enough, and for those players that love organization, this is the perfect fit for you. Now we're on to a big UI overhaul mod titled SMX by Cerulean and his team. Now if you ask me, this looks more like a console type of RPG horror game than the old UI did. Now the UI isn't as clean per se, it's just more immersive in a way I would say. If any of you guys have ever played like Left 4 Dead or State of Decay, I'm sure some of you have. It's kind of like that feeling almost on consoles. Although this game isn't on console yet and it's supposed to come out later this year, it's nonetheless still true to the 7 days core values. You got the day up top on the left, you got your stamina and health on the bottom left, and you have your weapon on the far right with its damage. This menu might seem like a lot, but it kind of makes you want to plug in my controller and try playing that way instead. You just get that vibe from this, honestly. Like, there's, there's just a console vibe to this UI. I don't know why. <laughs> 
Maybe it's because I played too much of those other games I mentioned. But once again, this mod, just like the HUD Plus mod, does add coloring to a lot of the items that you interact with. It's just easier to see. Everything's brighter. It's not so uh, flushed down to be basic. That's what makes this mod stand out, honestly, is the coloring itself and the horror type vibe. Everything is bloody and red and even the clothing system and the map here are just, they're colored like a horror game. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I think it's one of the better overhaul mods for the UI, honestly. I do, I did put the HUD Plus mod first, but that's because it's more clean. I feel like if you want a total UI change, this is the direction you should go. And finally, we have a weapons pack. Pants weapons pack by Pants Stan. <laughs> I mean, Pants Stain. This adds tons of guns to the game that some are real, some aren't so real. We have laser guns, tons of pistols, and a lot of shotguns. I'll showcase some of these here, but the biggest thing I've noticed with this mod is the sound and feel of the gun is a little bit more heavy and more accurate to what I feel like it would be in real life. There are over like 30 different weapons that this mod adds to the game and they, they all feel pretty tight. Compared to the game's current pistols, these feel way, way better. And then there's a lot more variety and they just look cooler as well. I don't know shit about guns, but I know what feels better in terms of gameplay. Whoa, shotgun just took off his arm when I aimed for his head. That's fucking cool. The laser gun might be a little bit unrealistic, but it's so fun to fucking shoot like crazy. <laughs> yeah, this thing's so overpowered. I don't know if I could actually use that in a game, but <laughs> it's, it's fun to mess around with at least. Let me compose myself here. These other assault rifles are also pretty nice. They're way more accurate and you, the, the recoil on the gun feels more heavy like I was talking about earlier. And let's get on to my favorite gun of them all. The M1 Garand. You know what's important when I remember its name? Oh damn, his head just went splat. Anyways, this gun sounds like an artillery shell being fired like in World War II. It's insane. Only bad side is it takes forever to reload and you would get swarmed pretty quickly. These are all the guns in the creative menu that you have access to. The energy ammo is kind of funny looking. Nonetheless, the mod does come with a lot of guns. Time for some honorable mentions for mods that I didn't feel like needed a full showcase. We have the 12 slot tool belt mod by Wookie Nookie again. It's pretty self-explanatory, but nice to have for a weapon swapping or extra medicine on the hopper. It's nice that it doesn't really feel like it's game breaking it. 72 slot backpack by AGF again. Feels like it might break the game a little bit for some people, so that's why I left it off, but it is another ease of life type of mod. Onto LXS Writable Storage by LX Sun. Oh, I guess that explains the name. <laughs> this adds tons of boxes to the game that have like a fantasy feel with different sizes and colors. If you pick up any of these mods or have questions on how to install, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. I want to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you are into 7 Days to Die content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that next video.